Welcome back, guys, to your Kentucky X Files. Oh, la 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 la. <laughs> sing, singing lessons? <laughs> he must have. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's festive as shit outside right now. Yeah, we got hit hard. It is. So mm-hmm. I, I don't know if uh, it's making me tired. I don't know if all you listeners out there are uh in this area and got caught by the uh, Kentucky super cyclone vortex of, of frozen death. But it's cold. (laughs) I just love like how you were saying it. Then when I was uh, talking to you uh, earlier this week, a couple days ago, freaking, I heard, we all heard different temperatures, but it kept going down and down. Every time somebody came along, it was down even lower. Yeah, it was like yeah. Negative ten. Some people said it was negative fifteen. Then it jumped <laughs> to negative twenty-five. I heard that it was negative thirty-five with the wind chill. It's like Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, all of winter came this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> it was late. The whole damn winter. The whole damn winter showed up just for the weekend. Oh, God, that's yeah. it. It's it's one thing. Like like he said, everybody had different negative numbers. Just once I want to be at the edge of a polar vortex where somebody says it's gonna it's not gonna be that cold. I just right. just one time. I just want that, you know, that one time to, to have it. It's gotta be that. So <laughs> my wife was like, it's gonna be negative thirty five with the windshield factor. I'm like, damn it, I just heard it was like negative ten. It's like I can't I can't keep up. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty bad over here in the valley. Um, just walking Leroy was a uh, was an event. <laughs> did did well, he give you the good. nope? <laughs> yeah, dude, it, it was so sad. He straight gave up. Like we would get out so far, he'd do his business, and on the way back in, he'd just be like, "I guess this is where I'm dying. I'm done." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, he just leave, quit walking. Leave, leave without me. I can't go any yeah. further. Yeah. yeah, I feel like your place is like, like the worst because you have such like because you live right next to a farm, pasture, so it's open area, so good gust of wind can, like, <laughs> hits you right in the face. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was I thought it was foggy outside. <laughs> no, <laughs> nope. Just snow. Nope. <laughs> yep. Damn it! I remember walking past the window and going, "Man, it's awful far." Oh, fuck. <laughs> because <laughs> it was like around the time Leroy had to go and, yeah you know he's he's like clockwork and I'm like crap so you know <laughs> put on my bibs put on my hoodie put on my coat <laughs> yeah he's put like, on my gloves <clears throat> I gave him a hoodie I yeah said, I sent the picture yeah. to Denny actually yeah <laughs> I uh I actually sent one back of uh Journey's Journey's actually in here with us and she has her uh, her holiday sweater on too, and uh, she yeah. gave us straight up the nope. Yep. It's like Journey, you want to go outside? She's deaf. She's like deaf now, like she can't hear. So she just looks at you like. So I'm like That's trying to cool. sign language to her. Journey, you want to go outside? And she's literally like, <laughs> this asshole thinks I want to go out there. Right. <clears throat> yeah, there's uh, <laughs> I have to dig it out on the ring camera. I might have to send it to you guys. Um where Leroy just gave up in the driveway and I had to pick him up and carry him. <laughs> oh, poor poor buddy. Oh, oh. Real yeah. good boy. <clears throat> yeah, he was I feel like Leroy is my spirit animal because I would have done the same thing. I'd be like, Nope. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Just leave me. He wanted you to save he wanted you to go on and live for both of you. Yeah. 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 He just <laughs> looked up at me like, man. Why? Why is this? Why are why we pooping is, out here? Why is this happening? I don't understand this. <laughs> you don't poop out here. <laughs> right. Why do I have to poop out here? Yeah. I thought about just like picking him up by the armpits and hanging him out the kitchen window. <laughs> <laughs> just go, go, buddy. Just, just go, man. Just just look I mean, off in the distance. I'm not I'm well, not I'm not even looking. 
What yeah, if he looked? I got contact. What if he looked at you and he's like, "I can't, I can't feel my butt." <laughs> 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 I can't <clears throat> pull me back in, please. Yeah, I've never had to put on so much clothes for a eight minute walk in my life. Yeah. Oh, uh, I went out yesterday morning. I went out with the wife and took care of animals. And when I came back in, my kids were laughing because my beard was completely iced. And it was yeah. like, it's, it's kind of cool. You know what I mean? It's like, the, ice beard. That's cool. Ice beard. But at the same time, it was like, this is fucking cold. I don't like this at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So hopefully the listeners uh, managed to stay warm. And, uh, you know, I wanted to, I, I was telling the guys here before we started recording that I didn't expect to see very much of, uh, you know, listener activity today because it's, it's Christmas Eve. You know, I figured everybody would be kind of doing their thing. You guys shocked me out there. I woke up and saw all these downloads and I'm like, are you kidding me? You know what? Thank you so much. It's amazing. It's absolutely yeah. amazing. We still, I, I, I want to say I'm speaking for all of us here, but I really feel like we don't know how to accept that this show is actually important to you. <laughs> it's hard to, uh, to come yeah. to grips with that, you know, I, and appreciate yeah, I, it a lot. I feel the same way. I, I still feel like it's weird that even – like how many people actually enjoy the show? Like I enjoy the show just doing it, but I never yeah. expected anybody to really like latch onto it. And I'm glad that it's it shows it it's enjoy uh it helps you through your day. If like you're it just gets you through your day where you just listen to it and you're just going on through your day. Yeah. It's like I I enjoy that. That's awesome. I, I'm glad that what our what we <clears throat> talk about interests you. Yeah, I feel like that—that that was my goal in the show was just to get your your brains turning, just to think about these crazy unknown things and unexplained things. It, we might not give you hundred percent fact stuff. Yeah, but at least we don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. There's none of this has like, like I I hate to say this, but yeah, I feel like we we're all on the terms of. There's no such thing as experts out there on the We are like stuff. the chiropractors of unexplained stuff. <laughs> like they do. They do they do their job and you, you get some help from it, but Yeah, we just, you know Really? Do they really do? Are we a doctor? I don't are know. Are we a doctor? I mean, no, we don't have the PhD of uh well PhD, PhD for chiropracting. Yeah. Yeah. No offense to chiropractors. If anybody's out there a chiropractor, you know, I'd love to actually pick your brain because the whole profession just blows my mind. I'm like, dude, been I've been popping my knuckles for years. Like, I didn't know I could get paid for this. <laughs> this is awesome, right? You know? But they say that's bad to do to your knuckles. Yeah, but if a if a chiropractor does it, then it's it's okay because he's a doctor. Right. Oh, okay. You know, well, maybe uh, he has more insight because I heard that from like people that are not <laughs> chiropractors. So they could huh. be lying to me. They, yeah, that's true. Could be. Um, Just uh, so you guys out there listening, uh, I know a lot of you guys are on the streaming side, so you're not seeing the video. The video usually goes up the same time as you're getting this. You really need to go over and watch this so that you can see Gibbs's background because it's really hard to stay focused. Because I'm, I keep staring at it. I, I hate that you said something about it. Because I was actually <laughs> trucking along, not thinking about it. And then you have and to now look I'm, now. Yeah. Now, now I'm thinking about it. It's the most accurate, you know, background I could think of yeah. for what is currently going on out there. It's like make it's bigger. It's a reenactment. See, it's it's Leroy and me. I'm some random stranger. <laughs> he just frozen in your front yard. <laughs> yeah, he was just strolling oh along. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah. It's just me, Leroy, and the man in a hat. So <laughs> I really feel like this could almost spark a brand new game for us of seeing who could make the most distracting background while we do these shows. Yeah, mine. I don't feel like mine's as entertaining as Gibbs. I'll I'll, uh, I'll back out so everybody can see it. But uh, we got we got Sasquatch here looking in the window at the Christmas tree. Look at that, so festive, yeah. so festive. So festive. I, but, my green screen's not in, so I suck. <laughs> Tyler's waiting for his. <laughs> they said Wednesday, but God, 
Yeah. The holidays. God, people not wanting to work on the holidays so I can get my green screen. You right. Shame to yourself. Amazon. Jeez. Amazon. Jeez. Can you believe they're this? Even, they're not even sending it. They they made freaking the United <laughs> States Postal Service to send it. What? what it says. Yeah. They, they won't even bring it. it. Oh, my God. Yeah, God. That's the worst. That's the worst. That's the worst. Man. I'm just joking. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, it was it was my fault. I, I was just trying to late. like. I was trying to amp you up, you know. I'm yeah, sorry. you were being a friend. <laughs> See, hey, I, you guys need friends like that, like ones that will literally <laughs> encourage enable, you. Yeah, enable everything you do because we do that every time. I don't know how many times I had to buy. I wanted to buy a bass for the band. If you guys don't know, we are all in a band. Tell them about the bass. I was like, no, oh, he can't. Like, you can't, can't see even my see horn. his horns. Damn it. <laughs> I asked these guys, and they're, I was like, it's over $2,000. And I just like asking, perfectly honest, what do you think, what should I do? What should I do? You're like, buy it. Buy it. Buy, buy it. it. What are you I doing? Have, why why aren't you buying it? Two? Why haven't you bought two? <laughs> tell them, tell like, the people what kind of bass it is. There's a lot of musicians that listen to us. It's a 1991 Gibson Thunderbird. Ooh. See, though, the, the neat part about said Thunderbird is it also happens to match mine and Denny's guitars. Oh, yeah. You got yours handy? I do. Uh, me too. Yeah, check this out. Mine, yeah, mine's in the case. Sitting. This is this is my uh, my Explorer. Uh, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Hell, yeah. Look at that. That's the flying V. Show, show the other guitar, too. Oh, you should yeah. show it. The, uh, the butter rum. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. If I can stop being tangled in my head. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, let's see this. We're kind of having a fun episode here, guys. We we have uh, we have something for you we're going to play in just a little bit, but look at that. Oh, it's fade. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Your background's eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I, I gotta fix this real quick. I can yeah. fix that for the show. There's a lot of Gibson guitars floating around in this band. Yeah, that's uh. There we go. I don't know if that's ever a bad thing either. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Just absolutely Kill gorgeous. Kill this homepage on a website. There. There we go. Look at that. Hey, look. There's the band logo. Hell yeah. <laughs> there's Ty with his. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Hell yeah. A lot of Gibsons. A lot of Gibsons floating around here. Loving it. Hopefully here pretty soon. I, I guess you guys out there, uh, I want to say sometime in season three, I'm hoping that you guys get to hear. I know you got to you got to hear a little bit of uh, Rector in a uh, previous episode. It was a teaser at the end. And I even got a message from somebody that said, damn it, just when it was getting good and it was building up, it's over. And I was like, yeah, but, you know, we're working on it, you know. <clears throat> right. You can only imagine. We're, we're busy, guys, and we all, we do a lot of stuff, and we don't want to put out the music until it's really there, you know. Yeah. So a lot of stuff will be happening in, in this next new year, which I'm excited about. But, yeah. Heck once, yeah, man. And I, I tell you what, this this is a holiday. This, this holiday feels different than any before it because yeah. – I got the, uh, I got, I, I feel like since I was the first one to, to receive the the notification, I, that's why I was like, man, I got the best Christmas present I could have asked for. And uh, it's that our podcast has now hit the top 10% in the world. We're, we're not, we're not doing crazy, you know, whatever, but we fought our way up to this level and I'm, it's, it's awesome, you know? So thank you out there for you guys blowing us up and and leaving all the reviews and and you know sending us messages and you know thank you it's well, awesome it's 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 crazy to think of what that battle is going to be like to get into the top five yeah if we're in the top ten oh I know yeah man absolutely I'm like I'm I'm so top excited 10%, top ten percent I should say yeah yeah I'm so. Uh, I'm so excited to see what what happens next. You know, I know we've been doing a lot of work to uh, line up guests, get stuff together for season three, 
which I think you guys are out there are going to love. And I'm sure we'll talk a lot more about this in the in the finale, which that's the, in the in the the final. The season two finale is this week, isn't it? This later this yeah. week, yeah, later exactly. this week. So, so you guys out there, um, make sure you tune in for that. That's going to be awesome, and we'll be uh, we'll probably be taking about a month off. I'm sure of it in uh, preparing stuff for season three, but it's going to be bigger and better every year. I, I just feel it, and we're getting better at it. I think, aren't I wanna we? Say we? I want to say we are. I feel like we are. <laughs> So this clip I got is uh, it's pretty pretty substantial. I mean, it's it's a good good talk. Uh, I recorded it because we had just recorded an, an episode that night, and then after we were done recording, we started to basically bullshit about this simulation theory stuff. And I hurried up and I and I for once I hit record. I just hit record. I was like, you know what? Just in case of solid gold, <laughs> and. I realized that the Patreon folks have heard, have had this for the last couple of weeks and we don't want to leave anybody out. So they got a head start because they're on the Patreon. That's part of the deal. If you're on the Patreon, you get everything early. If if it's a broken up episode, usually you get both of those at the beginning of the week on the Patreon. If it's, you know, if it's coming out tomorrow, you got it today, you know, blah, blah, blah. This one, you guys didn't get it yet. And I thought, hey, you know what? Let's get on here. Say, say happy holidays to everybody. Bullshit. See how everybody's doing, you know, with this whole winter uh, fucking destruction that's come through. And then we'll let you guys hear that conversation, which I think is pretty neat. It's frustrating. That whole the whole theory is frustrating. I remember being really aggravated by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not like yeah. mad. Not like mad at anybody. It's, in the, in, it's like hard to figure. Here. Yeah but just aggravated at life itself because of it, you know? Yeah. Well, they say it was, it's a self-defeating theory. Yeah. It's a self-defeating theory, which means that no matter if you, if you find substantial evidence to disprove it, you're basically proving that it's real. And if you have su substantial evidence proving that it's real, how you right. can't because all of your evidence would be inside the simulation. Yeah, so we just want you guys to have that same frustration. <laughs> right? But yeah. I don't know. You guys got anything else to add or you want to want to play this for them? Yeah, let's let them have it. All right. So you guys out there be cool, and here it is. Had to throw the finger guns. Let me pull up the one that I had. Uh, what was his name? Uh, no, it's not that one. What's his name? Uh, you've heard Neil deGrasse. Neil deGrasse. Yeah. Yeah, Neil. I think I thought it was deGrasse. I, oh, I might. The E is silent. Oh, the E is silent. <laughs> yeah. I always thought it was just named after that TV show. <laughs> 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 but no, um. He kind of had some kind of theories on the whole, uh, like whole simulation, but I kept uh, like, wait, like, he had theories on it. Yeah, what he said fuck? that he he kind of had he kind of believed in it. The simulation but, uh, theory, yeah, simulation theory. Like I, I was digging back and through, uh, back and forth between, uh, between because not there's not that big, it's not that big of a theory. It's just I feel like it's just coffee talk. Yeah. Um but I was like I started out telling uh Yeah. Uh telling uh Gibbs here Okay, you've seen The Last Action Hero, right? The one with Arnold? Of course. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of basing my uh, Robo, my little baby, bung, 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 yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I can't even fucking say it. It's not fair that he can say it that good. <laughs> but uh <laughs> like think about that like the kid went into his story his life okay. and he lived his life like an action like a, an a, a crazy action star right. so no matter what like i've always thought about this like you've watched a movie and we're thinking like i wonder where that person is today is he still living his life but he's in a movie 
Like think like think about like okay. like the world that they built. Just because we say it's fiction, does that make that character any less real? Like like and I even said that um the MP, we're NPCs. Like a NPC in a game. Yeah. Just because his programming says maybe he's a quest giver. Does that make him any less real? Like he lives his life giving out quests day after day. Does that make him as a person as him? Like if that's all you know, all right. does that make him less real to himself? Okay. So I feel like, yeah, we go through our day-to-day lives, but we could be a NPC just living our lives just the way that everybody else like does in a video game. You know, just the only thing that this theory is making me realize what? is that I'm not the main character in this game. I'm definitely a fucking NPC. <laughs> Well, I went back on this because uh, he said that, like, if anything, like, Gibbs even said this, was we're NPCs. And I get that. I was like, oh, yeah, that, that makes more sense because we're not in the front li- like front lines. We're not in the limelight. But think about this. All these pictures that keep popping up are things that are left behind, that, like, saying, like, oh, time travel is real because they see this picture from years back of a person holding some type of technology. Maybe that those are real players in this NPC world. Uh. Like, cause I was telling him, like, think about that as this artificial intelligence simulation. Think about the person behind it. Like a person that's playing it. Think of like Red Dead player one. These NPCs can think, create like, like, to, like say like, two guys that are into music or metal or something like that and they're like uh. dude did you hear about the 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 AI band Metallica they just came out with new music let's go into the like the simulation and watch their concert <laughs> like dude that's what i'm saying is that yeah. we're free thinking and oh, yeah we are the NPCs but there could be among us not like in our reality, not real people. So if somebody comes the, up to you out of nowhere and they're like, hey. You're like, hey, what's up? And they're like, I'm a player. What do you say? Well, I got to figure out, like, if he's saying, like, in the sense of, like. Yeah, is he, what if somebody th- says, like, don't hate like, the player, I'm, hate the player, game? Hate is the that game. what they're talking about? Maybe. 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 Tune in next time, folks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was fucking around. <laughs> but, uh, what was it? Uh, and I was going to take out of, uh, the stuff in the Matrix. I know it's a movie, blah, blah, blah. But think about it. All these, like, things that happen that we can't explain. Yeah. Like deja vu could be glitches. Things that we're seeing, like Bigfoot, Dogman, UFOs. It like cause any system, no matter big, small, it can be corrupted and things could go haywire. That's the essence of chaos. Yeah. <laughs> Actually really is. I know so I know it's a joke, but like really is the essence of how Chaos theory actually works. It's so, mathematical. There was another th- complex systems will fuck up. So, with that being said, I was even saying to him, uh, to Gibbs, I was, uh, uh, I don't know, like I, I like I said, like I couldn't, I can't remember the video, but Neil, uh, Neil deGrasse mm-hmm. had like he was doing a sh- like he was doing a vi- like video, uh, like a podcast or kind of a talk with another person with him. And they were kind of, like, just riffing off of the idea of a simulation. He was saying, like, okay, put, picture yourself in a game. Like, a basically, uh, like, say GTA. Okay, you're standing in the middle of the in the middle of the city or something, and you're looking around. You're painting around. Everything is detailed up until, like, a certain, 
a certain area, a certain radius. And then right. as farther it gets back, it gets like the like the render is slowly like it slows down. Like you can't really get all the details out of it farther and farther. So um he was saying the like, reason why the we can't go faster than speed of light is because if we go faster than speed of light, we could actually end up in nothingness. Like saying that basically the program couldn't render that fast. Okay. So like, cause like, that's why like, if you dig down in the earth, you go so far, they'll keep adding earth or something else under it, under it, under it. Yeah. Um, so huh. that's what like 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 it's more like perception uh, of that sorts and even like and it will go against to the the Mandela effect like people like will fight you tooth and nail about something saying that this is how it was this is what happened and then it comes out to not be true but we all believe it but it could be a glitch where we're all seeing something but it wasn't actually supposed to be there in the first place and huh. I even said about, like, because there was a time where somebody went down that road and said something about Wyoming not being real. Yeah. And that could be another th uh, another link. Why did everybody go get on this bandwagon? What, what was so funny about that? If we're going to say any uh, like, uh, state was not going to be real, like, why don't we say California? <laughs> All right. That's just wishful thinking. Yeah. But I'm just like say it's like what like what caused these effects to do this? And then yeah. I, I asked the big the question that I wanted to know, like what is the purpose? What would be the purpose of us being in a simulation? That's kind some of where of them, I'm at with it is like like because like, they what's the like point, some, you know <clears throat> some people say that the body doesn't really we couldn't be used as batteries like how they did it in uh the matrix we wouldn't produce that much energy like yeah. like the fields that the i feel like the output like the i guess the transfer would be so low we'd be we'd be shittier than fucking solar energy right so that can't be that can't be it we can't be just energy or batteries for somebody um but i threw in your theory of the existence of a god say a, a god became into being didn't know what he was but he could do all these things but he didn't know who he was so he started something he started a simulation right. to figure out how it started and where it became him right and i remember that was one of your theories about that was that could be the reason why things started it's for him to learn and understand where he came from or how he became to be. Okay, so check this out. Here's the way my brain dissects this, okay? My brain goes like this. All right, so if we're saying that, okay, if we're saying that a god or creator, creator, greater force, what do you want to call it, has programmed all of this reality, right? We have absolutely zero chance of proving that. And the bad part about that theory is, is we have absolutely zero chance of disproving it. So the simulation theory is, to my way of thinking, one of those things that literally will perpetually sit at a 50-50. Or a stalemate, whatever you want to call it. And the reason I yeah. think so is because if this is the simulation theory, right? This is mm -hmm. literally us in a simulation. Nothing is in our favor. We can't run an experiment to find out. Does that make sense? Yeah. And For I all we it. know, this cosmic <laughs> computer, when you look out into the stars... For all we know, you're looking at the fucking, you're literally looking at the circuits firing information back and forth at each other. 
we perceive it as stars and galaxies and all this shit, it could literally be information being moved back and forth. So it's like our whole perception could be programmed to what it is. So that that's to me is like it's an impossible theory with an impossible outcome because there's no – even if you had like mathematical calculation, I can't see that being – like that would be like disqual – thank you. That would be disqualified because – it would literally be like you're you're doing math based on a system that's in play inside a simulation that you're a part of. Cookies. You mm. know what this is telling me? The Matrix See? is telling me that cookies are delicious and crunchy. <laughs> yeah, that's te- yeah. You no, know? I. But uh, what was uh, I? I wanted to bring this up. Uh, I wanted to tell this because I it, it popped in my brain. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys ever watched Rick and Morty. Yeah. Well, there was one episode where his battery in his co- it, technically in his car, his spaceship, mm-hmm. uh, was having problems. It wasn't putting out any power. But apparently, what he did for his car battery was make a tiny universe. Yeah. That he <clears throat> literally made like. Pop, like propagated a whole civilization to he had this like machine that literally sends power like it they all they do is to make energy and it powers his car and then that the civilization inside that battery did the same thing they went in there because he said that oh yeah we found a new way to power our cities and do this so we don't have to use this machine anymore we just he the scientists in that galaxy uh, in that area made the same thing basically made another galaxy and he did the same thing they had to on the stair master thing so he they could send power back to their reality and to power their cities and stuff. Uh-huh. So I was like, like that, in a way, like could could that be a possibility? I've always made the joke that we are a third grade alien science project that is sitting on like a a shelf somewhere that's a third place ribbon. <laughs> that's being generous. <laughs> Our participation ribbon. (laughs) Here, check this out. Okay. At our level and at the quantum level, the dimension of mass, length, distance, time, charge, ampers, uh, represented by such as kilograms, pounds, meters, miles, seconds, etc., are independent of each other. We cannot measure the distance from Tokyo to London using pounds or kilograms. Um, The units appear to be distinct. Mass cannot be confused with length or time. The independence of these units then becoming an inviolable rule, as every high school science student can attest, the units must always add up. Indeed, what characterizes a physical universe as opposed to a simulated universe is the notion that there are fundamental structures underneath that in some sense mass is time and mass is time is and space is. Thus, we cannot write kilogram in terms of measurement to do so would totally render our concept of physical mass time and space meaningless a simulated universe however is required to be in some total unit less units equal one for the simulated universe does not exist in any physical sense outside the computer Evidence, therefore, that the units do overlap and in certain combinations cancel, rendering our sum universe unitless, could therefore be construed as evidence that we are in a deep universe programmed by a god simulation. There are physical constant anomalies that appear to link the constants via mathematical relationship. It's fucking scary. That is fucking scary right there. (laughs) I, I, but is it, like, yeah, is it scary? Like, what, like, that, I still got to go to fucking work to Monday. Right, yeah, I mean, it, it's literally, like, that's what I'm saying is, is even if you, like, got indisputable proof literally <clears throat> right now that this was true, it literally yeah. changes nothing for you. Yeah. 
You don't no. win a prize. Or maybe I you do. Maybe like, the creator is like, dude, somebody got it. <laughs> Winning you lottery see, ticket no, for that no, guy. You just <clears throat> know your eyes just like you see achievement locked, unlocked. <laughs> it's like, fuck yeah, I prestiged. <laughs> no, fuck it. Uh, what? I feel like it would change a lot for people. I feel like a lot of people would take risks. I feel like a lot of, yeah, like, would change their lives based around it, saying that. But then it would crush a lot of people, saying that my life was, like, it's meaningless. I don't Let's think... face it. We'd all be looking for cheat codes. Yeah, I was going to oh, say, God. I, I don't personally think it would change anything. Because it's still, it's the, still the definition of a life. Yeah, we still have a life, but I still feel like I got a shitty role. Yeah. I like I got we, fucking I, I'm overweight and have fucking high blood pressure. That is a terrible <laughs> road character. But what Ca- we character. what I'm saying is that we we have no con like we have no what do you call it concept of what like you know the, you know the whole life is we know it thing. We've never once discussed what about digital life. It lives. It consumes. It produces heat. You know what I mean? Like, this is a real system that literally consumes, operates, and produces heat. So, for that's enough reasons to be life, in my opinion. It's alive, you know, or mechanical life. You know, people don't yeah. really talk about that. You know, an engine, you feed it, it lives. A lot of times it gets old and it dies. You know? Wear I'm just saying. Out, wear out. So yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. I know. I get it. It is yeah. still alive, but it, I guess I feel I, I'm just saying it would change people's view on a lot of things, and yeah. it would crush a lot of people that dedicated their lives to certain things, uh, like especially religion. Yeah. Uh, like, because you always want to believe that there's something more after this and like in some ways maybe that's the reason why we have ghosts too their law their like their code is lost in the simulation (laughs) and you see it yeah i mean it would give a lot of uh credence to a lot of different sightings and experiences yeah yeah and I kept saying it's like that's the reason. And I kept saying it too is all these experiences that people have seen, like they've seen UFOs, they've seen uh, Bigfoot. Is it because that we we overrode it? We thought that it came into existence. We want to see that, so we're changing reality as we we're perceiving it because we're we're wanting to see it. That's why we can't get an actual clear photo of it. Or like you were saying too. Maybe they're the players. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like I, that's one of them things where it's like, like I said, I, I don't think there's any, uh, I don't personally see any solution to that one. I, I feel like it's just perpetual. It's a perpetuating, you know, whatever you want to call it. Like there's no, there's no win or lose cycle there. That's that's literally just, it's it's going to keep going in circles because you can't prove it either way. Yeah. You can't disprove it and you can't prove it. How the hell do you start by like how do you start with debunking it? It's got, it's I, literally got physics and mathematics backing it. Yeah, I, that's what like and I like, <laughs> Gibbs <laughs> yeah. even made the joke too. It's like so you're saying that you're basic you're saying physics is uh like game devs or something like god was a game dev it's literally that's what it if physics becomes a system in the simulation so there's no way to you can't twist itself against it you'd have to have a like the master hacker <clears throat> but what do we know about hackers they have to access the program from outside so if you're in here with the program running you're not fucking doing anything you're playing by its rules you know what i mean I'm already referring yeah. to it as in here. That's fucked up. Yeah. I'm not in on so, that. I'm not in. 
No way. Yeah. That, this one. This one's one of those ones that like it would give me a <clears throat> migraine if I if I continue like working on it. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Because there's, you like know, I said, there's no solution. This this argument's been made um, before, but it was a um, a different entity, so to speak. This is um, basically the same argument as the flying spaghetti monster. I thought it was just a tax write-off. Flying spaghetti monster? What? That's a religion. Yeah. <clears throat> the um, the flying spaghetti monster in space religion is um, used to argue against Judeo-Christian religions. Um, and basically it is is that it's this giant invisible flying spaghetti monster and you can't prove nor disprove it. <laughs> love it yeah it, they're actually called pastafarians okay they were uh, spaghetti strainers on their heads wow <clears throat> but I mean you know that's the, the basic same argument is that it's something you it's not tangible you know because proof always falls in the lap of the person that's making the extraordinary claim that's that's how science works, you right, know. Yeah. If I say I can fly, your job is not to prove that I can't. It's my job to prove that I can. So with the flying spaghetti monster, it's a, it's an extraordinary claim. Yeah. <clears throat> so the argument is is that nobody can disprove that it you know exists. Who it's, gave like wh what did they did they say that the, nobody can disprove that their spaghetti monster exists? Yeah, because that's 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 in, their whole point is the, you can't like in, in the sense of like the argument of it's it's a stalemate argument. You know what I mean? Like this right. could be pro not proven or disproven. All you have to do for theirs is go back to when they authored it in 2005. They received an advance to write the gospel of the flying spaghetti monster. So you go back to before <clears throat> that and it literally wasn't a thing. But in the simulation... There's no going back to before because well, you'd be playing, you know, this is why I hate this simulation bullshit. <laughs> but you, that's the thing, though, is that that's not the case. You can't use the literature to, dis to disprove or prove something. No, I'm, I'd am i be using the copyright. Right. I wouldn't even say that that would be applicable. It would be because the theory could have existed long before it was written down. Gotcha. Even before spaghetti was made, so we can, well here's we the thing: disprove everything on this except for their word of mouth. See, you can you can go right into the whole. This is when the flying spaghetti monster made himself available. That's yeah. when he was he made us aware of him. You know, yeah. So that's that's the thing about any kind of you know unknown like religious type argument is that it's it's circular and it never ends yeah every answer has got a re-answer or you know you know a rebuttal no matter what it is <clears throat> i believe that's, that's is it is that the straw man argument it might be uh yeah straw man straw oh look at my straw hand <laughs> Right. So like with, with, if let's choose to use the word God was a developer. Yeah. Then nobody can say that he wasn't, but nobody can say that he is either because there's no tangible proof. You know, there's right. no way to, no way to, there's no measurable evidence, I should say. Yeah, I mean, the only thing you can do is you can measure its presence. <clears throat> I'm I'm doing my best to measure its presence from the surface right now. And there's like, you know, what I mean, there's tons of things about it. There's, I have within my site a website that is literally the spaghetti monster. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm looking at it, and I can measure it. But what I'm getting at is that for a simulation to be real, there's no, there's no, what do you call it? There's no watermark anywhere. There's no present. It would be, what's fucked up is that even this flying spaghetti monster would be part of that system. Right. This is why I fucking hate this simulation shit. Yeah, I don't like it. I I don't like it. You know, <clears throat> okay, so let me beg the question. If we are in a simulation, yeah. then isn't that just reality? That's what it's saying. That's literally what it is. It's a simulated reality where even, like, even but it everything wouldn't be, would be a part of that system. And it's fucking, but it, yeah. it wouldn't be simulation. If we are in a simulation... If we are in something that something else created, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Take, for example, we're self-conscious Sims. Okay. All right. We're self-aware Sims. All right. So it would not be a simulation to us. It would be our reality. Yeah. So it would no longer be a simulation that's, it is just what it I is i fucking hate all of this like yeah. i fucking hate this whole <laughs> thing that's what, like that's what it, that's what i was saying like it, if you're a quest giver in a game your reality is what you're doing this is nothing like if you that's all you know yeah that is you yeah like you don't know about free will you don't know about but maybe you do that's the thing but, is but you there's may like, very well there's, know about it. But, but there's it limits. But there's limits that you know that you can't do <clears throat> in a way. And we per, you would perceive that as your rules, your rules that you can't do. We have rules in our reality that we can't go past. Right. So that's what I'm saying is, is that like, I, like if you're like, yeah, if you're the person that gives out quests <laughs> or you're it. the one this that... fucking rabbit hole, <laughs> this is a fucking rat. Listen to this shit. Elon this Musk my... says, okay, if you assume any rate of improvement on video games, then it's most likely that we're already in a simulation and we just don't know it. He said, there's a one in billions chance that we're in base reality. What? Fuck you. You know what I mean? Fuck you. That's, no. No way. This is insanity, dude. Like, this is the kind of shit no, that they, shouldn't be brought, like, ever brought up. We shouldn't be talking about they, this. Where's that black but box? Some pe- but some people are saying that Start we redacting this could, shit. We could be... <laughs> A simulation inside of a simulation inside of another simulation, and so on and so forth. Like that's like somebody simulations. Yeah, it's simulation susceptible uh, deception inception. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but at that yeah. point, does it even matter? No. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter because, like, you will never figure. Like, so you're basically would t- uh, be saying, like, okay, I find out the one simulation, but now I got to figure out the other simulation that they're in. And how would you even know that they're in the simulation? You would just assume that their simulation is actual reality. Even if you did figure it out. Yeah. But then later down the road, somebody would be like, what about their world? Why? Are, like, <laughs> are they a simulation? Uh, it says here, uh, physicist, Paul Davies, um, Considers this theory self-defeating. So there's just, it's literally self-defeating. Like there's no, like there's no healthy reason to pursue this theory. Does that make sense? Because even if you're right, you're fucked. Does that make sense? Like, even if you were like, I have definitive proof that this is a simulation. Mm-hmm. Then what? You gonna make a Wikipedia page about it? Like, what are you doing? There's no, there's no goal after that. It's literally like, okay, 
Right. Still got to go to work. <laughs> yeah. It, it doesn't change yeah. anything whatsoever. I just, dude, it's frightening how much physics actually backs this. Like, that's fucking scary. Looking at, li- literally looking at the numbers, it's like, I don't want to read this anymore. So, I, I guess my argument for it would still be that I don't think we're that fucking important. Yeah, like, what would be the point? Like, really? Think about the average person. Yeah. Can you imagine somebody just creating that average run-of-the-mill person on purpose? Yeah. <clears throat> all, I, I just did. all I keep thinking about is, like, when my daughter's sitting behind me playing The Sims. Mm-hmm. And literally just they're they're on there... You know, doing those little <clears throat> meaningless tasks day in and day out. <laughs> yeah, but you know, here's like, the thing, though. Let's be honest with ourselves. Yeah. If there was a developer creating a simulation and we were the Sims. Yeah. How many people in this chat pulled the ladder out of the pool? That's, right. why, that's why cancer can't be really like mastered yet. <clears throat> that's a big fucking letter. <laughs> I don't think that I don't think the cancer is the ladder out of the pool. I think that it's because it's a business. Yeah. You know, I agree with that. Yeah. But, you know, we would be in a much more tortured state. Yeah. I think. It's probably true, yeah. It's very depressing. Because I'm still not all the way convinced. (laughs) Like, just, you know, endless struggle all the time and sickness and starvation all across the world, you know, fucking all this shit going wrong. And it's like, are we sure that my daughter's not in control of this simulation and she's just fucking with us? (laughs) That and, you know, I always killed the Sims in the most comical way possible, you know? Yeah. Like you order a pizza and then you build a maze. By the time the pizza guy gets to the house, he dies. Yeah. Because he's been walking for so long. (laughs) That or you build an enormous mansion. You take the doors out and you slowly start removing all the furniture. Yeah. And appliances and walls. (laughs) Yeah. God, it, it right like the game. That game literally proves to us that none of us are benevolent enough to be a god. No, you know, I hate to say it, but it's like, yeah, no, because there's no consequence. Dude, it know? took me. It it's took me shot. all of a, an hour of playing Daisy to beat a little kid to death with a fucking crowbar and take all of his shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? An hour, yeah. and there was no real stakes, like you know, on the line there. It was literally just, I'm gonna take his shit. And Hop he's literally a. yelling, please, sir, I'm from friendly. I'm like, I'm not. And I'm just beating him to death. I mean, hop on any GTA online yeah. server. You know, oh, you, if you can walk more than a block without being murdered, like you literally have to have a vehicle to stay alive. Yeah, that is true. God damn. I love that. I just... Just stood just, back and fucking watched your yeah. simulation fucking just go, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I, I got to poop, so I'm going to go to the poop simulator. Well, yeah. I'm going to go eat some dinner because I haven't had dinner yet. Right on, man. So, it's a good chat. It's weird. Yeah. it's weird. I'm watching you guys on our, our last episode, and your mouth are not moving the right way. <laughs> and then he just shook his head. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, okay. I'll see you All guys. Right. Later, man. Later, man. Later, man. If I can get the fucking mouse to work, there it is. But, uh, yeah. Yay. So there you go. That's there it is. That's the the theory. And uh, I don't know. You know, every time I I just yeah. Good luck sleeping. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a loose theory. Yeah. I just I just hated that it was like it, it's a 
it's a hole within a hole within a hole within another <laughs> hole within another, another hole. Theoryception. It just keeps going. Yeah, theoryception. Like you just it's, can't. It's, it's just an un- get out of it. It's an unraveling sweater of a theory. Yeah. And I hate I hate every bit of it. <laughs> I do. What did, you know, uh, I think I said at one point, I'm like, I want to go back to cryptids. Yeah. <laughs> like, this, yeah, is, no this, is, this is hard. Let's talk about the Wookalar instead. This yeah. Is, oh, my God. My brain hurts. I love, anytime I hear anybody say Wookalar, there's just a part of me that just lights up. I love that name, and I still don't know what the creature is. Is isn't it, it from it, a, isn't that from a Don Knotts movie? I don't know. The Wookalar. Yeah. Yeah, it's from a Don Knotts movie. I don't even think it's a real cryptid. Like, well, you know what I mean. Like, Do you, I don't think it's got folklore. You know what uh, cryptid I wish was real and it's not. I mean, I mean, it's it's not a real uh, like a lore. Is uh, you remember Green Jelly's Flight of the Skajakwada? I wish the Skajakwada was a real creature because, for one, the song is awesome, and when you listen to the song, it tells the story of the the Skajakwada coming in the blizzard to to like attack or whatever and if you haven't heard it you really should it's funny as shit and uh yeah i wish that was a cryptid i wish there was a lore maybe we should try to get that started sometime i don't know flight of the (laughs) skajakwada i was right it's from a 1980 film called the private eyes starring don knotts huh what the hell was the wickalar is it just like he calls somebody? I hope it's not something like really bad, and we're just we're just reeling it off left and right. <laughs> Damn, Wookalar! I'm not sure. What it is. I hope it's not either. Yeah, I could pull up the scene here on my phone and look at it real quick, but I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I just right. know that it's from a Don Knotts movie. <laughs> Hell, I didn't know. Well, all right, guys. I guess. Uh, I know this is after Christmas for everybody, so I hope you had a good one. I hope you had a good holiday, whatever you celebrate out there. And uh, we'll see you later this week for that season finale. Season two. Season finale. Bittersweet, man. Bittersweet. Season two is coming to an end. But we'll we'll take care of you, though. I've I've got you a whole month worth of highlights ready to to hit you with while we're gone. And we'll, we'll be back. Don't worry. Yeah. Once when then we say uh, February second is when we're coming back. I think that's yeah. I think that's what we It'd said. It'll be February. Yeah. You, you'll yeah, see us. Uh, you can't miss us. <laughs> I just want to let you guys know. Denny uh, prematurely uh, sent out a uh, the new art work on our TikTok. So no, no I never. Yeah, he did. No, I just I, literally no, I posted to him, like thinking, like, "Hey, is this cool?" He literally just posted. That's so. not. That's that dude. You know that that was a hacker. That was a hacker. Okay. A hacker hacked my. I, First, he said he was from the IRS, and he was sending the sheriff to my house if I didn't post it, so I had to. You told me it was a not reindeer. Shit. Okay. Well, let's get let's get the, out of here before any more details yeah. come out. And uh, <laughs> So, yeah, I, I might have leaked it. I'm sorry. Wow, I leaked it. You leaked it. I'm, I'm a leaker. You're a leaker. That sounds bad. All right. Anyway, you guys out there, take it easy. Take care of each other. Keep an eye on us. You know, make sure we don't do anything. See ya.